Hey, how you doing? I'm Tim Holtz from Ranger Industries. Today, we're going to talk about alcohol inks. I'm going to give you some tips on how to use these. Alcohol inks are a solvent-based dye. Their specialty is anything non-porous, so plastic, uh, glass, things like memory glass, gloss paper, vellum or transparencies, even metal, these inks will be adhered. And they do a lot of really cool things. They interact and do all sorts of great things. So let's get started. I want to show you some of the things that you need. Well, they come in 28 different colors. 24 of the colors are going to be translucent, and then we have our metallic. So let me just get an assortment out of here. Then some very important things, the Adirondack blending solution. I'll talk a little bit more about this, but this is what makes everything work. Of course, an ink tool and felt. This is just regular felt that's die cut to fit the end of the tool. So, first thing, the surface that we're going to work on. We need to work on our nonstick craft sheet because we want to make sure that we're protecting our work surface when we use these inks because they will stain and permeate just about anything they come in contact with. Now, we're going to start with some glossy cardstock. This is regular glossy cardstock. This is Ranger's Glossy. It's a clay coated paper, very different from photo paper. You do not want to use photo paper when it comes to working with alcohol inks. We're going to take just a piece of felt attach it right to the velcro and we're going to work with these inks. Now when we work with the inks two seconds squeeze of color is all you need. If you want you can leave the bottles open and I'm just squeezing it right into the felt. It's really important that when you work with them you want to make sure you get that nib right into the felt before you give it a squeeze. This will avoid your inks getting everywhere. And I label mine just with a little colored dot on the lid so I can see that. Just put it on some paper and punched it out. So I've got my color down Next, I'm going to take some metallic. Now, when you work with the metallic, you always want to give it a shake. That's the mixative. It has a mixing ball in there. You can hear that clicking around. And this mixative is incredibly concentrated. In fact, one little dot of metallic, that's enough to cover a very large area. So, we've got our color, our dot of metallic, working on our shiny side, our glossy side. We're just going to start stamping this down. Now, you can see when you stamp it, it blends on its own. And it doesn't really matter what colors you use. All of the colors in the Adirondack line, they all coordinate, so it doesn't really matter. That's our first layer, and you can see just that little bit of metallic, how much wow that gives it. But it's kind of splotchy right now, so we're going to work with our blending solution. This, to me, is what makes everything work. Blending solution does three things. It will blend color, lighten color, and remove color. So I'm just going to apply that to the same piece of felt, my two-second squeeze. Now when I stamp this, it's going to start blending out my colors, and now the more you blend, the more your color is going to lighten. So you're just going to kind of work that in. And there's our background. You can see the color really lightened quite a bit, but that blending solution broke apart the metallic. You can even take some of this, shake it on. Really cool effect on your gloss. You can see how it just kind of separates it. Because I did it direct, it's really, really light. So we could go ahead and stamp directly on top of this. When you're going to stamp, you can choose any stamp that you want. We're going to work with our Kybal ink. This is an oil-based ink. It's a waterproof ink because we're working on slick surfaces. We want to work with a permanent ink. Take that. Line it up kind of best you can. Good pressure. And you can peel this off. Check that out. Really, really great for backgrounds. Now, you can use alcohol ink on a variety of surfaces. You can use it on... Like I was mentioning, glass. I mean, this ink is excellent. You can just take this. I can use the same piece of felt or change it. Peel it off. If you want to keep your colors clean, it's a good idea to change your piece of felt. And I can stick with one color or a combination of colors. You can use as many colors as you like at once. Stamp it on. Stamping on glass. And you can see, I'll just hold it over there. Really gives it some great color. I can also use it for things like Ghost. I mean, basically anything in your scrap room, you can use it on that. You can use it on fragments or any acrylic pieces. You can even use it to colorize bling. And bling's really popular. Just go right over the whole thing. Make those crystals any color you want. If you want to colorize your own eyelets, let me get a little bucket of eyelets here. Just took silver eyelets, made them green eyelets, and all I did was just dump them in a little plastic bag, add my alcohol ink, mix it around, and there we go. So you can see the versatility of these alcohol inks. They work on so many different surfaces. The thing to remember is just play with them. You can always go back and add more color. You can add your blending solution. Use it as a background. Use it as an accent. Just have fun with it. See you next time.